when I say like that I'm strong or I want to be strong, like it means so many things. I think of it as like an umbrella term. There's like a lot of things underneath it. So there's physical strength, but there's emotional strength, um, mental strength. I think there's like the strength of knowing that it's okay not to be so strong all the time. I wish I could tell you the first time I had a memory of being like self-conscious of my body or what I was eating, but I honestly can't remember because I felt that way from such a young age. I would say that manifested as I grew up in which, like just trying to cover up, like trying to like wear layers and baggy clothes, but also just trying to fit into spaces that weren't so comfortable for me, just trying to make myself smaller than I was. I think it took up so much energy to be so distracted by my body. And it was honestly like exhausting. I mean, a lot of that sure came from my parents and the way they talked about their bodies in front of me, the way they ate or didn't eat or, you know, things they restricted, but it wasn't just them. You know, it's the way they were raised. It's the culture they were cultured in, just living in a world that is really anti-fat or particularly in like an American culture that's incredibly fat phobic and seeing the kind of like racism, the classism, um, all of that behind anti-fatness. You know, I see how political it is um, and how absolutely not personal it is. Something that appeals to me so much about powerlifting is that there's really just kind of firm parameters. But because it's so limited, I feel like I get to kind of explore within that. And that's something I think about a lot in just my kind of non-powerlifting life and my creative work and my professional work, which is super creative. When there's parameters on things, when there's some boundaries, I feel like within there, I can get kind of explosive with ideas. If I like close my eyes and think about how I felt when I first came in to this space and to this gym, I felt totally nervous. I mean, just walking into a place I'd never been. Um, I do remember when we first met her, our conversations were um, really good and she seemed like she really knew what she wanted to get out of working with me here at the gym. From the very beginning, Matt asked me, you know, what brings me into the gym and, you know, why am I there? And I feel like, I remember this part really vividly. It just kind of like fell out of my mouth. And afterwards I was like, whoa, I really said that. <laughs> and I said to him um, that I felt like I just wanted just a chance to remember how strong I am. And I feel like he immediately got that this was about more than just like figuring out a workout. Like this was like kind of a big new chapter in my life. And I was ready for something that I didn't even realize what it would be. Take your time, Julia. Nice that core. Nice. Now I started the Barbell Club a year ago. Um, it was shortly after my first competition, which was such a fun and funny experience for me and just uh, full of energy. And I just enjoyed it so much. And I felt so like electric and like alive doing it. Um, and I also felt deeply empowered. And I just thought, why don't I start a queer barbell club? Thank you everyone for coming. We started queer barbell like a year ago. Um, powerlifting is so private. So I wanted my queer trans community to be part of it. And you guys have all shown up and you keep showing up and that just like means a lot. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I joined right after I saw Julia post on Instagram about it and was immediately like, when and where? Working out in general is nerve-wracking. Working out as a trans person is even more nerve-wracking, especially how so many, you know, workout spaces are just embodied by this like tough, masculine energy. Just to have a dedicated place every week where we know that we are going to be with people who see us, with people who are really celebrating who we are and how we're choosing to show up in our bodies is a really refreshing thing to have as an anchor every week. 
um, especially for folks who spend most of their days not experiencing that. I've always had, you know, body image issues and I've always been a bigger girl and I think um, even the first day it was like, oh, like there are people around me being excited that mm -hmm. I can like lift things yeah. and that was really great. We get to do this thing that's actually really vulnerable so we can be there for each other in these moments that can be a little scary, like if you're lifting a lot of weight or something. So I think that feeling of that like safety and security we get to then take into other parts of our lives, which is really great. It's really cool to start something that's exactly the thing I just want to be a part of. Um, so to see people who are in the queer barbell club who who show up for it, it seems to like mean something to them. That feels completely surreal, um, really meaningful, like really beautiful. It's the kind of thing I, on most Sunday mornings, I don't really stop to think about that much because I think I would get pretty like overwhelmed. I think that Julia helped me realize that being strong is pushing yourself to, for your own personal growth. And when you're doing powerlifting, it's not about how you look in the mirror, it's like about the number changing. So you're like, okay, like I'm, I'm getting stronger in this certain way and it's making me feel like I could do something I never thought I could do before. So what else could I do in my life that I've never done before? Maybe I can try this or maybe I could do that. And so that's, that's kind of the confidence that I feel like it's helped me with. Okay. And you're getting really strong. Thanks. <laughs> the community part of powerlifting for me has been really important um, and has kind of trickled into other parts of my life and realizing how much better I feel when I have the support I really need and how much I enjoy being that support for other people. In April, I got diagnosed with breast cancer, which is very interesting being a trans mask person. Yeah. We've been waiting for your doctor yes. to clear you to bench press. It's been a very long, yeah. long process Touch because the they bottom. removed like all of my breast tissue and a layer of muscle, I'm very like concave and that's not, you know, I like a little muscle, so. And just to like, yeah, feel your, feel your chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, be a little beefy. <laughs> We're so, here to get beefy. Yeah. Okay, bench press yeah. seems like all chest arms. Yeah. It's a full body experience. <laughs> And you're aiming for, for five. For five. Being here and being emotional and not being seen as somebody who's like damaged right out the bat has been amazing because I think I can have my scars as, yeah, like a point of pride as opposed to a point of sickness. <laughs> <laughs> Julia was wonderful support system, excellent teacher, and just great friend. The barbell group brings a ton of positivity to the gym, which is one of the things I love the most about it. Um, they're just so positive and supportive of each other. I think, you know, when you come up on something hard and you have that moment of, can I do this, right? That's something that we feel here all the time, right? You put more weights on and you don't know, can I do this or not? But it's, it's okay to try and it's okay to fail and it's okay to get back up again and try again. And I think, you know, practicing that, like I bring that into my life too. I am so glad that Julia started this group. There's nothing like this. I didn't know to even want this until she started it. And I was like, this is what I've always wanted. Yeah, it's really cool. It has been um, really amazing to feel like through this moment in my life, I get to be the person I kind of wish I had when I was growing up, just a person to see when I'm lifting I remember I'm really strong. And when I'm feeling really strong, I think that's when I feel most at home in my body. And I feel like lifting has allowed me to just come home. And I like being a person who can pick up heavy stuff, yeah.